All right, hey folks, this video is sponsored by Sportsman's Guide, so we give them a good shout out. We show you their Cool Guy website, which has got ammunition, it's got blasters, it's got hunting accessories, gear, military surplus, all that jazz, which is all super cool. So go ahead and check them out and use my code for a discount. Let's roll the video. Here we go. All right, hey folks, I'm joined by Craig Douglas of Shiv Works, known as South Narc before. Back in the day. Back in the day, back and he was also day. a ranger back in the day. So ranger 30 some odd years ago, hey, yeah, a long time ago, yep. I don't care how long ago it was, you, you wore the scroll, That's bro. true, I did. That's awesome. I did. I did. Uh, most of your career, though, was in law enforcement, it right? It was, 21 years in law enforcement. Most of that time spent as a narcotics agent, a SWAT cop, or both simultaneously. I'm a lifelong martial artist and started teaching under the Shiverworks brand in 2003. So this is my 16th year of teaching under the brand, my seventh year of teaching full time. And I teach in 40 states and 11 countries outside of the US. And I'm mainly known for niche problems like a, a grapple range gunfight. Uh, what, is it that, what does that look like in a car? Uh, knife work, solo structure movement, which you and I are collaborating yes, on. Yes, sir, we are. And uh, anything that's uh, outside of the normal realm of problem solving, I think uh, John and I are both interested and curious about, and that's, yeah. I think, what drew each other too. All right, folks, so Craig is gonna show us kind of a go-to uh, gun disarm, and I'm gonna be a good bad guy, which means I'm gonna take on kind of the mindset of them. Bad guys aren't gonna be holding off at distance. It's an extension of their power. If you don't believe me, watch video surveillance, but it'll be something like this, like this. right here. Yeah, that's a, good, that's a good gun disarm, or that's a good gun hold for me to train a realistic gun disarm. Quite often, this guy's expressive with this pistol. He hasn't shot me yet, so he wants something. This is not a murder. He wants something. He wants me or something from me. So if I'm not going to comply, which compliance may be the way to go, and I decide to go for this gun, the first part is the most important part, and that's the don't get shot part. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get our hands close to the gun, and the best way to do that is to talk them there. So I need to feign supplication and make sure that he feels it. This has to be authentic. If I'm looking at John like I'm getting ready to pounce here just like so, that's not going to be a disarm that he buys. He's not going to buy my supplications. So I have to make it authentic and I have to make it work. Do, do tell me what you want me to do. I said wallet. I okay, said it okay, now. Okay, 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 okay. Just tell me how to do it, man. I don't want to do it wrong. It's shot. Reach now. I have slow. To make, I have to make him believe this. So what I'm doing is I'm getting my hands close to the gun. I'm doing it in a way that doesn't threaten him, makes him believe that I'm doing what he wants me to do, and I'm getting him talking. Because here's what I want to do. I want to make the move, the don't get shot move, when John's talking. So the don't get shot move, I'm going to move the gun as I twist my body. There's no rule for doing that. There's no always to one side, always one with one particular hand. I want to twist my torso as I move this pistol. So I may pull the gun and twist. I may push the gun and twist with either hand. It doesn't matter. Once I do this, okay, so this is how, this is what this looks like. If I'm actually doing this, the don't get shot move. Hang on, tell me what to do. I said wallet. Okay, now. left hand or right hand? What are you stoned? Yeah. Okay, so I'm off muzzle, right? I'm off muzzle, not by much, but I'm off muzzle to not off muzzle enough to not get shot. Now I'm going to get this gun out of his hand, and the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to move this gun away from his palm as I use the bony edge of my wrist to create a fulcrum, and I'm going to cut this no, right no. through. Ugh. Very simple. Once again, I will move and I will cut this right through. Stop it. <laughs> Quit taking it away. I said money. Uh, you tell me what you want my change or I my want cash? it now. Are my, you stupid? Dude, I got change. You stupid? I am. That's why I'm getting robbed. Well, give me. Okay, and I will get this and take that there. That's awesome. So the verbal agility component, that's incredibly important to be able to create the gap in his thinking for me to be able to make this move. So it's pretty simple. I want to move the gun, not get shot. Okay, and then I'm going to go for this lever strip. Why do I teach this? Well, it's about the only way to get the gun out of his hand that works, that I've found can hit any environment from open to close. So we've probably all seen gun disarms that require these 
big movements and that's awesome and that works, okay? But that may not work in truly confined space. Right now I'm in open space, but what if my back was against the wall or I was in a corner or God forbid I was in a car? There's no place to go, there's no room to move. I can't make these big loopy movements with my arms. So what I'm doing is I'm keeping everything really close I'm pinning my elbows in. I'm going to move the gun away from this palm and I'm using the sharp, just like you would use for a key lock or an Achilles tendon crush or even a good neck, you know, neck crank. All right, I'm going to use this cut bone as we call it on the inside of my wrist. So I'm going to use that to cut through and that doesn't take a whole lot of movement. I'm not that letting doesn't, go. Oh, don't let go. I'm not. Do not let go. Don't that doesn't take a whole lot of movement to get that out of John's hands. So, so frustrating. I really didn't right. want you to take it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh, that's my go-to gun disarm. Man. That's awesome. Really yeah. appreciate it. Guys, if you check below in the description, I'm going to plug Craig Douglas's stuff so that you can uh, try to get in one of his classes. They fill up pretty quick, but he's got all kinds of cool stuff out there as well of a uh, knife that I really want to check out in the future as well but anyway uh, I, I will have him back on uh, we've got a, a time in January we're gonna we we're, we're gonna do a bunch of knife stuff and uh, roll out some good quality content for you guys we have booked uh, interestingly enough we've booked collaborative time for uh, neither you're teaching and I'm not teaching yeah. and we're not getting paid but we're spending time together and uh, I, I just think it's incredibly important that um, people who are in the business that teach for a living do this frequently okay and uh, John and I have decided to uh, spend some time together and see what we come up with and I think we'll come up with uh, a lot of good uh, collaborative future content it's gonna crush man it is cool. man. yeah awesome thank you sir guys train hard train smart we'll see you next time sneak attack <laughs> <laughs> And that is the video. Thanks so much for tuning in, everyone. Remember to subscribe, comment, like, all that stuff is fantastic. Thank you, Sportsman's Guide, for sponsoring this video. And everyone out there, train hard, train smart, and we'll see you next time.